Hello, my name is John Hart. I'm a professor in the Department of Computer Science and also the director for online programs. Thank you for your interest in our online Master of Computer Science program. The online MCS program is a non-thesis coursework only degree that requires 32 credit hours of graduate coursework completed through eight graduate level courses, each at the four credit hour graduate level. The MCS requires that four of these eight graduate courses are chosen from unique core areas across the breadth of computer science, and that three of these eight courses must be at the advanced 500 level of coursework. The online MCS currently offers coursework in the core areas of artificial intelligence, databases, interactive computing, software engineering, scientific computing, and high-performance computing. The Master of Computer Science in Data Science, often known as the MCSDS, is a track of this non-thesis coursework-only MCS program. It leads to the very same MCS degree, but with courses that are carefully chosen in the data sciences. The MCSDS includes required coursework in four core areas across the breadth of computer science in areas that focus on data science. And those four core areas are machine learning, data mining, data visualization, and cloud computing. We're looking for individuals for the MCS degree whose professional backgrounds are multidisciplinary, multifunction, but they still have programming experience. We're finding applicants uh, for the MCS degree coming to us from a wide variety of different disciplines. We see applicants from the sciences, we see applicants from engineering, but we also see applicants from social sciences, uh, the arts, the humanities, from medicine, from law, and any number of other fields. Students want to add an MCS on top of a disciplinary undergraduate degree in the same way that you might add an MBA or a law degree on top of a disciplinary undergraduate degree. So to be admitted for a master's degree in computer science, applicants must hold a bachelor's degree, a four-year bachelor's degree or an equivalent. Students coming to us with a bachelor's degree in a field other than computer science are certainly encouraged to apply, and many successful applicants do, but in order to succeed at a graduate level computer science program from a top five computer science degree program, you must also have the prerequisites needed to succeed in the graduate level coursework in computer science. Those prerequisites are in object-oriented programming, in data structures, in algorithms, in linear algebra, and in statistics and probability. So the recommended undergraduate GPA for the Master of Computer Science is a 3.2 out of a 4.0 scale. So we use holistic admissions for the MCS program, and that means we look at the GPA under a variety of different metrics. We will look at your four-year bachelor's degree GPA. We'll also look at the last two years of your coursework and the GPA from that. We'll look at the GPA for your computer science coursework. We'll also look at the GPA for any coursework you've taken since the bachelor's degree. If you have a graduate degree, or especially if you've taken some advanced computer science coursework at a community college or elsewhere. The Department of Computer Science does not require GRE scores for any of its graduate programs, um, and applicants uh, for the MCS program do not require letters of recommendation, but you can add a letter of recommendation, especially if it speaks to some exception you may have in your application. If you have prerequisite uh, commensurate experience in data structures or object-oriented programming, you might have a manager write a letter of recommendation for you that can speak specifically to the use of data structures and object-oriented programming, algorithm analysis that went into that job. For applicants who already have a bachelor's degree, but do not have graded transcripted prerequisite CS coursework in the areas of data structures, algorithms, and object-oriented programming, the Data Structures Proficiency Exam for the online MCS and the MCSDS may be a pathway to admission. Prospective applicants interested in taking the Data Structures Proficiency Exam should double check that they meet all of the other application requirements for admission. Completing the exam does not guarantee admission, nor is it required. Exam details are found in the application process and requirements page. 
Applicants must complete the online application, submit the application, and pay the application fee. Applications cannot be reviewed without submitting the application and paying the fee. Applicants are required to list each post-secondary institution where they have earned credit and upload unofficial transcripts to the application for each of these institutions. Uploaded transcripts should include the grade scale for each institution. Uploaded transcripts should include all semesters and be clear and legible. If you are not able to read the uploaded copy, the admission staff will not be able to read it. Letters of recommendation are not required, but are considered if included. Personal statements are also not required, but are considered if included. Include a complete CV or resume. The GRE scores are not required. International applicants may be required to submit eligible TOEFL or IELTS scores for admission. This includes permanent residence. However, there are two exceptions to this requirement, academic and employment history. International applicants are exempt from the English proficiency requirement for admissions only if, within five years of the proposed term of enrollment, he or she has completed at least two academic years of full-time study as defined by the home institution, or completed the graduate degree in a country where English is the primary language and in a school where English is the primary language of instruction. International applicants currently employed in a country where English is the primary language, as identified on this list, and have a minimum of two years of continuous past employment record in a country or countries on the list above are eligible for this exemption. To qualify, employment verification letters must be submitted directly to mcs at cs.illinois.edu by the employer. The letter should be sent as an attachment on company letterhead and include duration employment and location of employment, i.e. city and state. Tuition for the online MCS and MCSDS programs is $670 per credit hour. There are 32 required credit hours for the degree, which brings the total cost of the tuition for the program to $21,440. That's less than half of what our on-campus students are paying for the exact same degree. And that exact same degree is accredited by the same agencies and it results in the same transcript and same diploma, um, the Master of Computer Science from the Department of Computer Science in the College of Engineering at the University of Illinois. That affordable tuition of $21,440 is also affordable because students on campus have to leave their job, they have to move to campus uh, so that they can study full-time for the MCS in the classroom. By studying online using the Coursera platform where you've got video lessons that are available on demand. You can watch your video lessons during a morning commute or you can binge watch them uh, over a weekend. There's other fees that will apply, such as online exam proctoring fees, like ProctorU, which is kind of an Uber service that ensures that somebody is, um, is assessing your exam taking to make sure nobody's cheating. We want to make sure that exams are fair for all of our online students. Uh, there's also cloud computing fees, such as Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure or other uh, services. And so we arrange free credits for our students, and those free credits are often enough to get through a class, but sometimes students want to go and work on additional material on the cloud platform and will want to purchase additional credits. It's usually rarely over $100 or $200 uh, to do that. The Department of Computer Science does not offer research or teaching assistantships to students enrolled in our online programs. And that includes the online MCS and the MCSDS program. The program is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. And enrolled students are eligible for financial assistance because of that accreditation. The Department of Computer Science doesn't provide financial assistance to its students in these programs, but you can see the university's Office of Student Financial Aid for further information on anything that might be available from your government or your employer. Sponsor billing is available for students whose tuition and fees are paid by a sponsoring organization such as their employer. Sponsor billing allows the university to invoice the qualifying organization, i.e. sponsor, for authorized charges on the student's behalf. For more information, visit the Sponsor Billing webpage. There are three admission cycles to the online MCS, MCSDS program, fall, spring, and summer. The application deadline for fall admission is May 20th with a decision deadline of July 15th. 
The application deadline for spring admission is October 15th with a decision deadline of November 30th. The application deadline for summer admission is February 15th with a decision deadline of March 31st. The application deadlines are posted here. We encourage you to visit the program website to learn more. The FAQ is especially helpful in answering potential applicant questions. Should you have additional questions after reviewing the program website, please send an email to mcs at cs.illinois.edu. We will be happy to answer your questions via email.